Hi, it's John here from the Home Recording Studio. Today I want to talk to you about how to find your Spotify profile if you are releasing music for the first time on DistroKid. So let's get started. So if you're watching this video, you've probably got some music that you are ready to release um, and distribute across all the uh, streaming platforms. Uh, one of the biggest is Spotify and to get your music onto one of the Spotify playlists is something that I think all artists would benefit from uh, as it hugely increases the, the exposure and the number of plays that you get. Um, however, to do this you need to be able to pitch to a Spotify playlist and you first of all, before you can even do that, you've got to claim your Spotify artist profile. So I'm going to show you how I did this with my profile. So to start with, first of all, let's have a look at DistroKid. So the first thing you can do is see if DistroKid has found your profile for you. Now to do this, you need to go to the goodies menu and under special access, you should be able to see Spotify for artists. So when you click on this, you might see a message like this. This is what I saw. Um, basically it says you don't have anything live in Spotify um, or we haven't detected it and it's advising you to check back later but if it has been over a week since you uploaded and you're still seeing the message then you will need to apply for Spotify artists the old-fashioned way and it gives you a link here so when you click this link you go to Spotify for artists now, if you haven't already created a profile here, you will have to sign up and create a profile. Once you've done that, you'll see a home page like this. Um, now, there's nothing obvious on the home page which um, shows you where to go to claim your uh, artist profile. Um, so it's a little bit uh, confusing. I checked through all these menus here. Eventually, I did have to contact Spotify customer services and they showed me how to search my artist profile um, so if you open this menu here on the left and look under your teams then you do have an option to either search for teams or add teams now what you need then is to paste in the URI code um, but if you haven't got this already Spotify for artists advise you to contact your distributor and now in my case that's DistroKid. So after this I went back to DistroKid and um, tried to find my URI. I eventually found it under this menu here, helpful when needed and uh, when you click on Spotify URI looker upper you get this page here. Now I didn't see this at first because I hadn't yet requested DistroKid to look for my Spotify URI. So I'll show you a screenshot of what I did see. And it had found my um, release, so that was good. But um, it still wasn't showing my URI. So if you click on the uh, link for what's the Spotify URI, you then get the message that says looking it up and check back tomorrow. So it does take about 24 hours. Um, in my case, it probably took just under 24 hours, but you do need to wait a little bit. And then eventually you will get this screen here and it has a different URI for the album, for the track and for the artist. So what you need to copy is the artist URI. So I copied the URI code and then back into Spotify for Artists and under, under Add Artist Team, I was then able to paste the link in. It found my profile straight away. And then I was able to complete this form here um, and then send my request to Spotify to claim my profile. And now I'll be able to um, pitch my new track to playlists within Spotify. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Um, please like and subscribe and check out my website, which is thehomerecordingstudio.com for further information. 
and I'll see you next time.